on Ace Mercy with the Grand Rapids Asian Pacific Foundation. Not every day you receive an email explaining the impact of the work that you do in the community. And here I am today in the home of the Donetsk family, talking to Russ and also visiting Dana and Ali. But Russ, your email touched a chord in me, man. I was blown away, speechless, and I, I, I wanted to share this with the community. Do you mind telling us a little bit about the, the email that you, you sent out? Absolutely, Ace. We were fortunate enough to have a, a good year this year, and my wife Dana and I were just discussing how can we reach out to the community and share some of this, the things that we're personally tied to. And it took a little bit of time and some thought, but the only thing that I personally have a personal tie to was the Grand Rapids Asian Pacific Festival. And when we went there in 2019, we invited my dad there and my brother and my sister and our whole family. And we had a great weekend, it was an amazing weekend. Uh, so many uh, festivities and shows and events and the sights just to see with the, the event and the food was amazing, which is my dad's favorite. <laughs> um, and we had a great weekend and then it happened to be that two days later after that, was my dad's last day here on earth and he, he passed away. Um, but we'll forever have those memories with our family all together in the same house, in the same town. It's just irreplaceable. You know, I'm so sad to hear about your dad's passing, but knowing you having that time with him, with the rest of the family, you, you, that's priceless. Absolutely right? priceless. I, I really can't thank you enough and everybody that makes that festival an option for our city and to be able to offer these services to the community is just amazing. And I can't thank you enough for being able to make that a possibility for us. Man, I really appreciate that. But before we keep going, can you just tell us about your dad? I mean, your dad sounds like an amazing guy. What we want to do is we want to honor him. And especially the, the, the stories that you, you mentioned earlier when we were having a conversation. Tell us about your dad. Absolutely. So my dad was from Cavite City in, in the Philippines. Um, he was one of 14 siblings. They eventually started, my grandma and grandpa started sending them over here to the United States and which was um, California where's where most of them went. My dad came over I believe when he was 16 and started to live with his brothers and sisters and slowly worked his way into this American culture and one thing leads to another and he meets my mom and which there she is right there and uh, yeah she drug him back to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> which was, I'm sure, an amazing thing for him to see and a culture shock for him as well because he's kind of still learning the English language at that point. Um, and to come to a Michigan of all places, uh, not quite as diverse as what LA would have been at that time. That's true. But an amazing person, tried to teach us as much culture as we could um, growing up. But really back home, he was just pup with everybody and he was just a family person and everybody loved him. And I really wish he, he's around here so I could call him Papa as well. <laughs> and so he taught you guys culture, the Filipino culture, and just shared those those with you guys. And those yeah. are the things that you've taken to heart. Exactly. You know, I'm, I'm so happy to have met you you guys and also so so happy to have talked to you, your family today. And you just sharing the your you know what you've done your dad has done for you. I mean to me that's big. Yeah, it's just an amazing person. And to be able to be in a place to, to help, you know, our community and for you to come in to help honor my dad's name, to, to bring him into the mix, it's just an amazing opportunity. And we just want to share with, with everybody some of his life story. And yeah. And we need to keep sharing that. <laughs> and so everybody, uh, what we're trying to do is um, with the gracious, gracious uh, generous donation by the Donuts family, what we're doing is we're going to waive all the, the vendor fees for all the Filipino vendors who want to participate at uh, uh, next year's Grand Rapids Asian Pacific Festival. And we're also still trying to figure out what else we could do with, with the funds that you guys are donating. Um, and it's really not about the funds that, that really touched my heart. It's really the story, you know, that you're always going to have the story with your dad, uh, how much you've shared with him, and also, you know, having those, those moments, the beautiful moment that the family shared at the festival. Yeah, just just amazing. And it would, I can't even say enough, it, it was such a perfect day. The weather was beautiful, the sun was out shining, we're in t-shirts, we're, we're just hanging out. <laughs> you know, it, it's just really, you really couldn't ask for much more. So, and again, for us to have that memory, it's 
so perfect and so solid and so defined in our memory, it'll just never go away. So, and I hope that other people in the community can have similar situations and be able to share these with their families. It, it, I just really hope that it does, and it just continues to grow for for the for the community in Grand Rapids. Well, we really appreciate you guys. We appreciate your support, but really sharing that story is something is, is going to be dear to me because now I can share that with my son and the rest of the community. Nice to see you, my friend. Thank you, Ace. See you guys.